Okay, so today we're going to read um, chapter 9 of Miss Crump Cracks Me Up. So in chapter 8, um, that was right after they had he had dropped that hissing cockroach. So the adults were going to try to find it, and then everybody else was laying out their sleeping bags and getting ready to go to sleep. Well, um, right when he was going to sleep, he said he heard some kind of monster right next to him, and it sounded like a nocturnal meat eater. So chapter 9 is called Slinking Around. The horrible sound got louder and louder. It got deeper and deeper. I thought I was going to die. Finally, I climbed out of my sleeping bag to see what was making all the noise. It was Mr. Docker and Mr. Mackey. They were snoring. I thought I was in the middle of a herd of hippos. Man, what is the problem with these grown-ups? Kids don't snore like that. It must have something to do with hair growing out of their noses. I hope I never grow up to be a grown-up. Psst! AJ, Michael whispered. Are you up? Yeah. I can't sleep with all that snoring, Michael said. Me either. That's when I got the greatest idea in the history of the world. Hey, I said. You want to go get candy? Do you have any money? Michael asked. No. Do you? No. Bummer in the summer. I really wanted candy. Let's go get a drink from the water fountain, Michael whispered. Okay. I stepped over a few kids' sleeping bags, and then my foot bumped onto something hard. Ow! Somebody yelled. You kicked me in the head, Arlo. Ugh. It was Andrea. Sorry, I said. Whenever you have to say sorry to someone, but you don't really feel sorry, you just say sorry, because sorry is the opposite of sorry. When you say sorry, it means you're not sorry at all. But nobody can punish you because at least you did say you were sorry. So it's a win-win. That's the first rule being a kid. Do you have any money? Michael asked Andrea. Of course, she replied. My mother gave me a $10 bill to buy something educational at the gift shop. Everything Andrea does is educational. When she blows her nose, she probably writes an essay about boogers for extra credit. Can we borrow some of your money? I asked. We want to get candy. Only if I can get some too, she replied. I didn't want Andrea coming with us to the candy machine, but I did want candy. Okay, I said. I have money, too, a voice whispered. I want to come. Oh, man. It was that cry baby Emily. This thing was turning into a party. The four of us grabbed our flashlights and tiptoed around the, the other sleeping bags. Hey, you know what would be cool, I said. We should pick up some of the... We should pick up one of the snoring grown-ups and put them in the dinos in the dinora diorama. Can you imagine Mr. Docker or Mr. Mackey waking up next to a wild yak? That would be hilarious, Michael agreed. But I don't think we could pick them up. We could if we went to Weight Watchers, I told them. Can we go already, said Andrea. The four of us slinked around in the dark like secret agents. How come they don't have any security guards? Emily whispered. Anybody could come in here and murder us. The doors are locked, dumbhead, I told her. They have chains on them. If there are chains on the door, Michael said, that means we can't get out either. We all looked at each other. I thought I heard scary music playing again. Relax, I finally said. Who's going to murder us, the dead animals? We slinked over to the candy machine. Awesome. It had to be it had all my favorite candy bars. This was the best night of my life. Andrea put her ten dollar bill in the slot, but it popped back out. She tried it again, it popped out again. The machine doesn't take ten dollar bills, Andrea said. This was the worst night of my life. Hey look, Michael said, pointing to some boxes that were stacked next to the candy machine. They're boxes of candy, said Emily. Great, Michael said. The candy is free. You mean it can fly whenever it wants, I asked. No, dumb hat, Andrea told me.
It means they're giving the candy away. All right. I was so happy I didn't even bother saying anything mean to Andrea. We all grabbed the candy and started stuffing it in our mouths. I ate about a million hundred candy bars. It was the greatest night of my life. All right, so I hope you enjoyed chapter nine. Tomorrow we will read chapter 10. Penguins are cool. See you tomorrow.